Hello! I'm Damien. And I am Gamian. And it's time for Tecmo Secret of the Stars. But not just Tecmo Secret of the Stars. The finale of Tecmo Secret of the Stars. A fantasy. We're just gonna let this run. Or <laughs> whatever. Or not, I guess, whatever. Now that the title thing... It didn't, whatever. Let me, let, let me say no. There we go. Because it's the same music either way. The secret is there. The secret is that there are stars. Thank you very much for the resub, Alex, and welcome in. Hello. That is indeed the secret. That there are stars. I, I have the sudden pause, like, have we seen any stars in this game at all? I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, before we do the thing, though, we got the recap. Yay! <clears throat> oh, no, that's the wrong day. There we go. Last time, we bought a third bunny suit, went to Amabas, and then immediately uh, they saw the, the skies, at least. Yeah, so, yeah, we started off needing to buy a third bunny suit. Akatalian has a star motif, and he on stars, doesn't do stuff. True. Not astrological stars, but... You know, stars. Uh, also true, yeah, like the stars... The children of Actos, or whatever, the star of Actos. Weird, weird things like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. But they are they are actually stars themselves. Anyway, so yeah, last time we bought a third bunny suit and went to Amabas, and uh, then we they, they immediately saw through our disguise, which is more than I was you know, hoping for, because I fully expected us to fully infiltrate them and them just being like, oh yeah, yeah, this is fine and good and stuff. But it turned out that they didn't like Gara anyway, and they don't like that Amabas is a, a women-only place, which I guess makes that a Gara set rule, that only women are allowed there. You did. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and then we, uh, we, 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 we agreed to help, uh, we done did do agree, be, be, agree to help to defeat Gara and, uh, free Amabas and all that good stuff. And, uh, in doing so, we got the final two Kustera in the party. And then my controller stopped working, so we had to start over. So we bought a third bunny suit, went to Amabas, and uh, then we, you know, they at least immediately saw through the skies, which is kind of more than I was hoping for, because I was fully expecting it's just like, oh, they're just going to buy it, and we're just going to wander right in, and it'll be great and fun and awesome and, and super annoying. But no, they saw through it immediately. Uh, but you know, it turned out that they didn't like Gara anyway, and uh, they don't like that Amabas is only women, which I guess was a Gara set rule or something. Like, Gara is the one who made that rule happen, and I, I don't know, it was just weird. But either way, we, we agreed to help them, and uh, we got the, as doing so, we got the last two Akustera to join us. And then we used their secret path to get to Gara's castle, which was not nearly as bad as uh, Boost's castle, but it was still kind of confusing, and uh, she herself was not really all that dangerous. We kind of beat her pretty easy. Uh, but then she called out to Haman Cruz uh, to uh, get vengeance or something, and he got that vengeance by exploding the entire area we were in. But it was okay, though, because uh, we once again spun in place, and uh, you know that kept us protected until a gyrocopter showed up to pick us up, and then we got to have that gyrocopter ourselves. Yes, more explosions. Haman Cruz's number one way to uh, try to defeat us, and it, it, it never works, because we know to spin. From there, we were told uh, that Dr. Paracles uh, had Haman Cruz's secret, so we had to go to Hydon. But uh, then I realized there was another town higher on the flyby list that we didn't find yet, so I went and found that, and then we were told to go to Hydon anyway. Um, but, uh, I, I think that was also around when we first started our hunt to find Ganta the Blacksmith. Because he had uh, hid in a temp at a temple, so the temple, I this, hid at the temple, uh, but he wasn't actually in the temple, because it turned out there was a secret spot that I would never have guessed to try to find in any way whatsoever. So, I mean, yeah, it's just, w whatever. Blech. Oh, we, we finally got him, but that happens a little bit later. I just did that part, I spoke about that part earlier, because I remember while I was typing this, I'm like, I think that's where I'm regardless. Anyway. We went to the secret lab of uh, Dr. Pericles in Hydon, and we learned that Haman Cruz is actually Dr. Pericles' son. But in the scientist Dr. Frankenstein kind of way, because Haman Cruz is actually an artificial man from the future who stole a time machine to come back to the past, and I guess it was to wreck up the joint. My god! Uh, but yeah, yeah, because you know, Haman Cruz is, uh... <laughs> yeah! I mean, because yeah, Haman Cruz, I think, I think you were even the one who first mentioned it to me, Humbug, that uh, Haman Cruz is like a potentially a weird corruption of the word, uh, like a, a, a bad attempt to like translate and cross-translate the term uh, homunculi, a homunculus. 
So it's like, oh yeah, that was yeah, so yeah, that was humbug. Oh, so it's like, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense that he's a uh, an artificial man from the future who stole a time machine to come back to uh, come back to wreck up the joint. Hey, it was weird. Uh, either way, we also learned from Bosun uh, that uh, he, he just kind of showed up after we did that and learned that stuff, and uh, he found out from him that uh, there's also a secret lab that's helping to power Haman Cruz, and that we should shut it down to weaken him. And there's also a metal sword somewhere, and possibly an orb that might help defeat him. Yuck! <laughs> Hello, Maven! Thank you for the reset. The Orbital Man also applies to take ten years of your life. To a good ten years of your life. This is true. But then you figured things out. Oh. Words. Where was I? I, I got lost immediately. Because I also slightly scrolled on my mouse wheel. Where am I? What, what was I reading? I was reading a thing. Here. We, got to the, we go to the lab. And then we wandered a lot because it was a confusing lab of, of downs and ups and I hated it. Uh, but we shut down the place and it exploded the lab in Decadus because I guess they were connected or the same thing. I don't know. It was weird. We were in one place away from Decadus and then we were in Decadus. Um. Uh, but then, yeah, then the people who were working in the lab and living in uh, Decadus and whatnot, they're like, Hey, Haman Kreas is totally going to destroy Decadus next. He's targeting it next. So we should go somewhere else. Like your guys' town. Let's go to your guys' town. And uh, all they did when they got there was they complained about uh, my town and how it sucked and how there was kids everywhere and they put all the kids to work and they just didn't kick me out because it was Gotham's trick. And Jaguar also sounded like he wanted us to succeed or something. Like, it was weird because of the tone he had. Uh, yeah, some guy named Jaguar was in one homic of his father. They wanted us to go to Brisbane in a to and use a tone or whatever that made it sound like he wanted us to actually, like, succeed and stop uh, Gotham or something. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were totally the best people. Kicking me out of my freaking town like that. Um, anyway, so we, we go to Brisbane, down in Australia, and uh, Gotham blows up the whole place. But in doing so, it uh, opened up the, the pathway to one final Custera trial dungeon, except it was the Akutalian had to go to it. And uh, at the end of that place, Gotham was waiting for us, and he turned out he was a sexy dragon man, and I didn't know how to feel about that. Uh, and uh, we beat him, and we got one more Elementium item, and we returned to Township. Uh, scrum, you grown-ups. The kids took back to town, uh, they almost beat us up, but then realized that we weren't grown-ups. Uh, and then we found out from Dynamite there's a secret control room in the Old Hill Temple, and uh, through there we learned that if we combined all these elements we did, done did find, we can blow our own town up, and I uh, get a, a got dim flying saucer out of it. For a very long time I thought th that we had blown up our town. But it turns out, no, the town went with us, it's just inside the, 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 the flying saucer now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I, I, but I genuinely thought I did. I'll show you the spot because what happened is it just popped up the spot where the town was. Like there was nothing insane. The town came with us. Just we were in a control room, and then the flying saucer went up into the air, and like for all I can tell, it's like uh, this is a dead spot now. And you had to go back through. You had to try to leave the temple, the original old hill temple, to. uh Get out of there. <laughs> yep, all that work, and I had no choice but to destroy the town by my own hands. I genuinely thought that's what I did. But it wasn't actually done. Yeah, we just we all know I'm not smart. Uh, and so we went into the final dungeon, and I spent far too long walking in circles before I finally realized that we needed the Kustera with us again. Because, again, I'm, I'm not smart. And so we had to do grinding. And grinding you know, commenced, and it might might have commenced more, because I didn't know when I wrote this ahead of time and didn't edit it, uh, but hopefully we're ready to beat the game. And uh, spoilers, I did grind. No clue if I did any, did nearly enough grinding, but I did do grinding. So let's uh, get going. As you can see, my town is not, uh, not exploded. Humbug. This is the thing I said you were going to really appreciate first. Look at our fourth part or fifth party member. I did not change that name. Look at Beth's class. 
I did not change that name. You'll you'll see that in the in the vod when you watch it. So clearly, despite never reaching this point in the game, yeah, the game influenced you somehow across the stars. Also, our temple now looks like this. Uh, oh, and also, also, I don't remember how we found out it was, but uh, the final dungeon right here where we are. <laughs> yep, exactly. So this is our flying saucer. This area right here is the entrance to the final dungeon. This is the way we get back out. Because it was inside the volcano at the start of the game the entire time. I, again, I don't remember how we found out that it was in the volcano. Something probably indicated to us. Because I didn't just go like, oh no, we... we because the game cutscene flew us to the volcano, and then dropped us inside, and then I had to fly my way back out. But, uh, there's, uh, there's BGs. But yeah, so this is what happened when, you know, when, it, when it came back up. It's like, bam. It just shows a dead patch of ground. And there's nothing here. You can't walk into it. And, you know, when you have control, you're, you're right here. And it's like, oh. Um, I know there's a doorway this way going to a thing, but there's no indication that, you know, that'll lead to a town until you just try to go out to the town. There's also a store in here. I don't think I need to buy anything from that store, though. Um, but yeah. Bum, 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 bum. And the, and the uh, Akutalian are just, uh, been chilling for a fair while, just waiting in the final dungeon for our incredibly ill-equipped, uh... Our incredibly ill-equipped Kustera uh, party to get ready. You will see, as we see right there, I leveled some. N n not a lot. Not great, because, uh... My hope is that we'll just be able to kind of... Repel... Or, you know... Repel, yeah, Arthur. Has, yeah, and we put Arthur back in the party, because he's the one who has Repel, and I realize that's going to be kind of mandatory for us for a good bit. Because this place is full of evil. And we can't step on any of these steppers, because these are closed-off things. And uh, the dungeon, as it seems so far, is... Uh, yeah, because Haman Cruz... That's the guy we already fought before. Haman Cruz revived all of his uh, great followers. And we have to go through dungeon bits uh, to get to him. So I'm pretty sure there are four chunks of dungeon, and then a fifth one where Haman Cruz will be. And, uh, like I said, we wandered far too long in here. Not... Uh, not figuring out how to get out of anywhere, but that's because of the, uh... I don't think I ever re-encountered Bad Bad, no. Uh, it's a Final Fantasy 1 rules. Yes! Fuck me. It's Earth. Um... Final Fantasy 1 rules except that, uh... I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a lead between sections. But yeah, so the Kustera were allowed to walk through that golden door. No, I guess the Akutalian are right, allowed to walk through that golden door. They couldn't walk through the other doors. And I'm pretty sure the answer is indeed. There we go. There's the proof. Teddy bear Dr. Frankenstein again. I don't think so. I don't think he was one of the great followers. And I don't know if I can beat them, so we're going to run. It's gonna be the, the style of doing things for a while. We got a royal sword! Can you wield it, Andy? No. Do you use it, Fulbin? No. Do you use it, Evelyn? No. Do you use it, Arthur? No. Do you use it, Beth? No. Well. I guess the, we're going to have to leave and then make the other team leave, and that'll be fun. Oh, hey, we already found them. Great. Hi, Akitalian. Oh, three legs. Legs were the easier of the options to beat up. I did at least finally get Storm 2. Oh, right, right, I need to... I need to change away from, uh... Grinding mode. I 
I can finally see who is doing who's the one actually doing like 50 to uh, 78 damage. Evelyn does one. Andy does seven. One, fourteen. Okay, yeah, we are we are far too weak compared to these guys. Beat him up anyway. Good shark hit. Eliminated legs. Legs number two and legs number three dead. There we go. It's still not really worth it. I love that that's my answer to every time. It's like, ah, it's not really actually worth the, the, the time, though. Anyway, my fear is this is going to somehow lead us directly into the boss. Because I would hope... No, Pat Lloyds. My hope is going to be that the Akutai are the ones who fight the boss every time. I'm glad nothing happened. Repel, not fly by. Alright, let me open up that door. Oh no! Kustera can't pass that gate. Only one thing to do. Arthur, get us out of here. What? We are going to heal up, because why not? And also uh, put the royal sword into storage, so the Akutalian can come in and be like, which one of you can actually use the royal sword? I don't know. Does it matter? Maybe. Bam. Because this party just cannot use it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I, I said this all last time too, but I'm pretty sure uh, for the funnies of it or whatever, you know, the the, the with exception to full bin, uh, every we have to have this person in the party option has been like the worst people you can put in your party compared to some of the others. Alright, and we never actually went to this way, which is why... Which is what part of also why I wanted to do the, the swap out. Hi, Pat Lloyd, no. The Kustera will survive by fleeing weirdly. We can fight Lakes, though. I mean, we can probably fight the Pat Lloyds as well, if I'm being honest. Good shark hit for two damage. I also like that the best weapon that uh, Evelyn seems to be able to use is a broken sword. Please finish off the legs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ba, ba, ba. Na, 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 na. They've opened that door! Now where does this take us? Oh, that's not allowed. Okay, I'm pretty sure this just loops around a bunch now. 
Yep, another, uh, another Akitalian via the end. Therefore, flee. Swap. Flee. No, no, I want on the airship. Can I get our shells? A royal sword. They'll heal on the way back. Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, as a reminder, when we finally got Ganta, he's like, I want to make an ultimate weapon. And uh, all he offers is his armor. Sword. Alrighty, which one of you can actually use the royal sword? Can you, Cassiel? No. Nope, he can't. I mean, clearly, I can't either. the royal sword for? <sighs> no one can equip the royal sword! Did I did I just miss miss see it? No, I I I cannot use the royal sword. The Royal Sword? A Kustera only weapon? Is it even a weapon? So, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much unless it's not actually a weapon. I'm just incredibly curious now. I know no one in this current party can equip it. So we'll pull out, like, Jubei and, uh, other people we're not using. Before I immediately go hunting for some of the, thing, the vague things I found before for an equipment list, just to get information. Don't worry, y'all are coming back soon. No one is leaving you. Can you equip it, David? We need to put it. We need to grab it first. And this party has the least MP. And if I pulled out uh, whatever her name is, the bow lady, I don't. I've already forgotten her name, even though we technically just looked at it. If I put her in my party, we'd have an entire party who can't use magic. Like if I took Ryu out and put her in instead. I want take. Thank you. Ba, 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 da, ba. Okay, David, can you equip it? No. Ryu, can you equip it? Yes! It's weaker. <laughs> Jibay, can you equip it? Yes. I... Shark, can you equip it? No. So I guess it is a Jubei weapon. Considering, uh... Actually, curiosity. Oh, wait, that's David, sorry. Ryu. Can Jubei wield the drag sword? He can. Royal Sword does boost speed, though. 68. Alright, so you can have the Royal Sword again, not that you're actually going to be in the party, but just so I can feel better about getting a uh, final dungeon sword that seems like no one can use. 
Now, before I forget, let's go change the party back, otherwise I will get halfway back into the dungeon before realizing, uh, this is not a good party to use. Split. David. Ryu. Jubei. Shark. Ah. Thulben. Evelyn. Arthur. Kathy, that was her name. And Beth. Okay. Alright, now we'll, uh, I imagine we're going to need... Kustera even in the second set of dungeons, and, and I assume every set of dungeons will require both Kustera and Akutalian, but for now we don't need to worry about bringing them both in, we can do that when we have to. Welcome my home, guys, you must be exhausted, by the way, do you want to record your adventure? Of course you do, why wouldn't you? Are you still going on? Of course, get to it! What are we going to? Find out next time. We will heal and then go into the dungeon. Alrighty, let's see about actually going and beating up whoever whatever this guy's name is. Gara or Garados? I don't know. I don't remember who the first one was. We'll find out in due time. Three Dragoon Damien Smack it Mara Ice Cassiel Smack that one Carrie Smack that one Danny Kaboom, cause why not? Ow. 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 Ah, oh, come in, see, Billy, please. Uh, yes. Yes, that seems to be the case that we've determined. Both Ryu and Jubei can use it. And that seems to be it. <laughs> I appreciate you looking for it, though. Uh, it's fine. We'll just do it this way anyway, because... Danny, I remember you have uh, the bolt staff we're using with you. Smack. Smack. Ow. Smack. Dead. Won the battle. Yay! Oh, Mara. Heal thyself. Back to walking. This was not the correct path. Hello, Galuda. Alright, did Danny attack? Mara freeze. Okay, so will attack. Carry attack. Danny. If I remember correctly, this is technically what I've been doing to beat them up. And there we go. Ow. Oh. I slash. Oh, didn't kill. Let's just change that. There we go. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, Mara, do it again. Stop getting hit. It GB in the view. Of course, you can't even trust all the sources out there as well. I mean, I didn't look at every source, but... Like, one source I found just plain had inaccurate information in it. And nothing had very concrete information either. It was amazing. Sure, you do do that one. Hey, you killed that one all on your own. Good job. Ow, pain. Pain everywhere. Please stop with the pain. 
Ah, I forgot to combine. Silly me. Just gotta stop getting my hopes up. How close is anyone to leveling? Not at all. Okay, Mara's gonna level soon. Sort of. Cassiel's gonna level soon. Not at all. And not at all. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Excuse me. I feel like a repellus has worn off and I wasn't paying attention. Looks correctly combined this time. My mistake. There we go. Ow, oh, don't blow fire. Ow. Ow. Good sharp hit. Okay, down we go. Moving, moving, moving. Now, the repel probably did wear off, and I intentionally didn't put it back on with the thought process of... I should probably level as much as I can still. Maybe. Just in case. Because we don't even have the final... We don't even have everyone's final spells. I imagine we, if, if I get into, if I fight all the fights, we might by the end. Let's do this more intelligently. Destruction! Destruction! No destruction. Finish it off, Carrie. Good job, thank you. Cassiel reached level 27. Learn power, level 3. Stiff. Destroyed. Destroyed. Destroyed or not. through this way go through this way one more treasure and then the boss fight of course a regular fight first Oh, 
Huzzah! What is the treasure? Found broken moon! Got broken moon! Excellent! I mean, we might as well, uh... Make it happen, too, why not? You know what, actually, yeah, if we're going to do that to, for once, actually show what it do. Danny used the thing. So the Broken Moon is as I had at one point when we found the first one, and I haven't used one since, uh, ever. But, uh, it was kind of as I was positing, where, uh, you'll restore MP, but it doesn't go away. It is perpetually usable, but it may break. And obviously it's not a full restore, it is a partial restore. But still, that is a very useful thing to have for people. Anyway. <clears throat> Hi! I am Dram. Lord Harmon Cruz has brought me back to life. Down with you! It's Biodram. I remember you, you swung your axe twice. Kaziel, power three. Oh, that just, it, it just means you can use it on someone else, huh? I, I forgot to bring half the, the manual ready. Oh no. Um. Okay, there we go. Um. Power. Yes, power level three increases a friend's attack power. Fair enough. Adventure! Welcome in, Tyrus. Good to see you. Here we go. I, I have visual again. Right on that here. Um. Super evade. Boom. I forgot to combine. But nothing happened. Over. Alrighty, um, let's try this again, but correctly. Except that if we do it again, Mar, no one's gonna be available to hit help uh, Danny, so uh, actually, fire three. Um, heal two. Just attack. Bolt to explode. Oh, sure, Danny goes first this time. Well, they're going to come before him this turn. Okay, fair enough. He's actually doing right now. Good job for going first, Mara. Eighty-one with fire three. Seventy-seven with uh, bomb two. Seventy-four with bolt two. Fifty-nine. Okay, I know that you're doing plenty of damage yourself. Fair enough. Oh, 
Okay, in that case, Mara, use Restore level 2 on Damien. See what that actually does. Bolt! Ow. Ow. Danny has his senses. Not, not that much. Great. Land. Okay, Mars healed up at least. And Dane is healed up. Ow! Stop existing, Biodram. Six, but does it twice. Out of pure curiosity, Danny or Danny, how much do you do with the bolt cane by comparison? Actually, given what we're going on with this turn right now, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Good shark hit. Excellent. Biodram defeated. Mm. Mara reached level 29. Carry reached level 28. Learn the ant spill. Level 3. Danny reached level 26. Wee. Well, now we're not allowed back in there. Just gonna go ahead and uh, heal up and save. Find out where my Kustera went. 
Need to buy a new restore too as well. Hi, right, I need to restore too. Thank you. Welcome home, guys. You guys must be exhausted today. By the way, you want to record? Mm, good. Are you still going on? Okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> Into the next one right here, which is going to be, I guess, Bio uh, Booth. In. Oh, good, it looks exactly the same. Oh, good, it really looks exactly the same. Vampires! You guys are weak. See? Ow. Oh. Ah, yes, the sources is and some clerics. Well, in that case... <laughs> Good. Hi, Slash. The well, cleric is dead. Oh! Clearus can just cast life three. Sure. It is the best spell. I'm not sure. I don't think it's. It, it may or may not actually be literally the exact same map. Ah, yes, the gusts. But it's pretty dang close. It's definitely the same tile set. One gust down. Two gusts down. Hey, okay, Danny, you beat him up too, because I'm tired of going to that menu. Good job. Won the battle. It looks to find on HE because these enemies are weak. Unlock that door. No idea where it goes, we're going this way. More vampire. A locked door. Alright, where are you, Kustera? Ah. You went back home. Fair enough. Head down into realm number two. And 
work? Where are we going? Okay, so that was just to allow the Kustera through here. I got no clue what, what's going on. Okay, we need to come back to this one because I can see. Oh no! Two vampires. That guy's gonna probably take on the vampires, right? They're not strong. Yeah, you guys got this. Look at that, you took out a vampire all on your own. Good job. <laughs> anyway, I can see in the uh, in that room that we were we were potentially going to enter. Break right down there, there's another uh, one of the unlocked doors, so there's not going to likely be any way through there, so we're going to come back to here. And Repel's effect wore off. Am I heading through here? Oh no. A truel! Can we defeat the Truel? No. Truel is just a golden recover. That's true. But I don't have the Shrinky Dink anymore. Also, he's he too strong. It's fine if the Akutalian has to deal with the Truel. They they can do they can do it, probably. Hi guys, nope, get a feet. Yeah, the Truel caught up. Run, everyone. We got away. All right, let them in. You're not a truel, but there are too many of you. Rebels of Hector, we're off. I didn't think that. Gas slag. Oh no. Fun when I guess we'll beat them up because we can. They're not that bad of a fight. Except every fight we do it means we're eating a more MP. It could be used to uh, cast repel.
Everything has been cast in you. Everyone fight him. Won the battle. It's really not worth the experience. No, thank you. Treasure. Bell's effect wore off. <laughs> Uh, no. Found a cure cane. Ooh. That sounds nice. Anyway, Ock Italian, it's probably your turn to finally move around again. Zap. Open the door. Anti-stop. Got anti-stop. That's the way to the boss. So go this way first and get an item. Or fight some more sourcerses. Oh. What's in here? We obtain a whiz robe. You know what? That's fine. That'll actually help out the Custera. The drool! Finally, we can have our vengeance. Oh. The menace of the drool has been defeated.
go. I don't want clerics. Go away. They say go away, clerics. I'm tired of running into you right now. I wish I could also just sit here and be like, hey, trade items. But we can't. And vampires. Level 29. Learn to land level 3. The third land. Alrighty, Mr. Not Booth. Bio Booth. <laughs> it's all because of Hanan Cruz that we met. We both bid you a farewell fight. Bio booth. Still, still barely covering anything. Alrighty, so he casts spells. Heal for Danny. Smack. Fire three. Dan Dan Danny is dead. I would like that, please. The fact that fire worked means that the mirror spell, mirror level 3, was as I feared as soon as I saw that it was red, is probably the level 2 version, but for everyone. I, to quote the book, decreases the damage of fire, gas, ice, and storm. Because all it says is bolt spells cast by the enemies. By the enemy. That makes no sense. 
So uh, how about you cast Mirror on yourself for the regular Mirror version? Uh, once again, regain everything. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, but I had a feeling it would. One other mirror, yeah. Boy, you're gonna need that, Danny. Come on, get up, Danny. Yes. Choice bio booth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, but given he is doing nothing but spells, I think even if Dami, Mara, and Castiel die, we're still okay because we got two people with Miron. Still not going to take chances, per se, but hey. Good choice. Ooh, very good sharp hit. Irregular attacks, I don't know it's gonna do more damage than the bolt 2 is doing. Boom. 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 Boom you. And boom you. Mmm, double shark hit. Ooh, what if the beast claw, or best claw, is like. No, it wouldn't be. Pretty. It'd be amazing if it was like. Yeah, it's like, I was gonna say it'd be it'd be amazing if it was al always crit against uh, spellcasters. I was like, wait, no, we've hit spellcasters before with not without critting. And then the thought crossed my mind of, I wonder if it always crits against bosses. Pretty sure no, but what if? That'd be amazing, a weapon that just always does double damage against a boss. I forgot to combine again. Yeah, yeah, those weren't those. We just got lucky with two crits. Self. Ow. Good sharp hit. Fourteen MP. Okay.
Oh, pain. I'm glad I went to the route I took. The rank I did. So spoilers for what uh, Bomb 3 looks like. Lab. I don't think you're allowed to use bomb three twice in a row. Uh, dodging isn't fun. Mm, we're gonna have two dead people if you bomb threes again. Especially because we can't actually uh, do the level three, two version. Cool, 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 cool. Gonna still do level one version though. And he do it again. Jamie did. Mara did. And Booth dead. It's fine, I didn't really have a way to revive them anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, a lot of experience though. Cassiel reached level 28. Danny reached level 27. Get out of here. Go away! I didn't want to talk to you again. <sighs> so we need to get... I feel like we might want to get two Restore 2s this time. Hello, long-winded nurse. Restore 2. Restore 2. Kustera. You're still in the dungeon this time. Well, stop being that. We are going to Dekadish to see if they will give us an indication of what exactly uh, the Cure King does. I mean, I imagine it casts a healing spell, but it's a question of which healing spell.
Was I able to buy Mirror anywhere? Or did I just happen to find another one? No, not you. Reduces magic power while in battle. One sharp hit to an enemy. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, we're going to just have to experiment. Come to me, weakling enemies. It's not even an equipable cane. It's just a, a healing stick. Okay. That is incredibly powerful. Oh, we know it didn't. It didn't give us that option. It. it that's fine. It can't. It, the, the words. It can be equipped. It just didn't pop up because uh, Andy can't equip the stick. He cannot equip sticks. So it would make sense that uh, it did not ask him if he wanted to equip it. But we can tell by the double circle that that was cure two. So heal too. So uh, incredibly powerful. We're going to just go ahead and give that to the uh, Aquitalian. And we'll let him have a little bit of a rest while these guys fly us back to the dungeon. Ignore that I'm lost immediately. There we not go. Uh, okay, so if I'm remembering the map correctly, we need to actually fly this way. Okay, yeah, this is this is more eyes. That's the weird water spot. Which means it's kind of up in here. There we go. You guys are fully healed, right? Yeah, you are. Into number three. Meet up Biogara. Ah, two Kusteras. Hello, three clerics. That's blocked off. is in here as well. Mm -hmm. 
More iron axes. Unlock. Not a good place to wait for a moment. Yes, I'd like the cure cane, please. Alrighty, we now have unlimited healing. And in a pinch, we can have four different characters heal at the same time without using regain. Say no, because you guys cast life three, and that's going to just be a pain in the butt. Mm. Ah, double troll. I forgot to trade over the whiz room, and I didn't combine. to backtrack, aren't we? Yeah. So that is probably the pathway leading to the, uh, to the boss. Take a moment to be like, which party was I? Yeah, there's no way this group's gonna take on two iron oxes. Even one would be trouble. clerics. Ah, and sour sources.
Boop. A singular Uga. <laughs> but you know, you just kind of reach a point where it's like, ah, uh, the fights take the length that they take. They're diminishing their turns. Uh huh. faster to be like this and go do a heal because we might as well path yet. pre-boss reward this time. Found Broken Moon. Got Broken Moon. That is perfectly okay with me. I never thought I'd see you again. This time, I'll destroy you. Oh no, Biogara. I will destroy you. has mirrored up. Ow. Forgot to combine again. It's not really that I forget, it's that my finger is there to make it happen, and I it's like wait, 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 and then it, I hit it, and I still hit the button. And it makes me sad. Reduce. 
Oh, much less damage. Did. He is not though, thank goodness. Consistent there, Gara. Storm again. The cure cane? Huh. Weird. I mean, no, don't do that. But uh, use it on Danny. Good choice. I think we're getting diminishing returns on that broken mirror that moon now. Now 14 again. 
it just has a wider range of uh, potential than I was thinking. Yeah, we can't do the cure. Can't do it again yet. Sure. Hopefully, we won't need to, but it wouldn't surprise me if we do. Okay, we did Level 30. Learn life level 3. Carrie reached level 29. She self deleted the true. Learn to vanish level 3. Uh, vanish level 3, anything special enough to destroy all enemies. So it'll never work. Ba, 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 ba. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. B. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Do that with the next boss at the very least. He's almost leveled up, but then he'll still be a little far away. And you're gonna probably level up but a little far away again still. You have the furthest away. If I didn't actually fully say it, level 30 is the high is the final level that people learn anything at. So uh Mara at level three learning uh er, yeah, Mara learning life three at level 30 there. Okay, we can still level up further. She's got max power on all spells. Damien does not. He will also learn life three at uh, level 30, it looks like. Cassiel will learn storm three. I mean, I'll never guess what Carrie will learn. Flee level three, exactly. She'll learn boat three. Danny has regained three and bomb three still to learn, so I have I imagine he will learn one of those at level twenty-eight. Anyway, time to go to Bio Gotham's lair. I'm confused. Found mirror, got mirror. Good. There he is. There, there's gotta be either, either plenty of treasure in the back rooms of that part of the dungeon, or there's gotta be some kind of trick. I don't think the game is necessarily smart enough to do some kind of trick, so there's probably treasure. Let's get the whiz room for someone before we uh, venture in and also save. Whiz robe. Can you wear it, Andy? Of 
course not. Thorin cannot. Evelyn cannot. Didn't expect her to be able to. Arthur can. That's who I would have, would have expected it from. And Beth cannot. Excellent. Arthur, you don't have to make me make a decision. You just get to wear the whiz robe. Bam. Hello, Uncle Save. I am indeed kind of exhausted today, it's true. But we will continue the adventure. For we must beat this game tonight. Because I wanna. And I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it taking all that long unless the final boss just sits there and is like, Hey, by the way, bomb every turn. Alrighty, here we go into Gotham's Lair. Arthur, repel. Hi, Uga. No. What? Uh, you guys go left, I guess. New moon! No. We fought you in Heracles' lab, I think. Hope you can't go any further this way. I changed my mind. Go this way. Go right. That was the wrong choice. Go left. Another single Uga. Block off. Double true. No, 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 no. Run. What? Them bats. Maybe they are as weak as they look. Okay, absolutely. Pretty good experience for something so easily beaten, though. Ah, two of you. Oh, 
open the door. Warp. Open the door. I do love that the best fall has allowed carry to just single-handedly kill enemies. Considering she used to be, you know, like, one of our weakest party members. Ooh, treasure. Found boat sword! Got boat sword! Well then. That's not as useful, though. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It frees up Mara to be able to do healing again. And I imagine we can give it to either Castiel or Damie. But we were just talking about how Carrie is doing good things with her best claw. And she won't be doing that when she, if she's using the bolt, the bolt sword. So we will do it to show it the one time. There we go. Ah, against the ghost even. Damien, attack. Mara, beat that one up. It's not going to be nearly as good, but uh, you know what we're doing. I guess you can just friggin' cast high die. Hey, Mara. Life three, please. Okay, ghost dead. Damien alive. Ghost dead. Oh. Okay, we can do it this time. Freeze. Freeze, dirtbag. Belt break! Wow, it's, it's pretty much the same as the other one. What are you doing going first, Danny? Danny reached level 28. Learned regain level 3. Excellent. How much does it cost? 36. Wow. Oh, that would be why, though. Recover all friends' HP to the max. It's 
So now we, in a pinch, we have, oh god, heal everyone fully. sword is not quite as strong, but doing individual attacks is not what you're doing anyway. You guys are setting up for the proper hit times. Unlock that door there. No, I don't like that ghost can cast Vanish. Them. We can also use them to cast a spell. Ooh, and it's a level 2 version. Dang, that means this ice sword we've been holding on to would uh, cast ice too, so that'll hit everyone. Good to know. I don't remember which direction you guys were going. I also don't remember if you actually have a rappel up, so I'm just going to put one up again anyway. Okay, yeah, we were going this way. Warp. Okay, so it's just a lot of pathway for the exact same area. Got it. No. I believe I said no. Alright guys, get out of here. No, not repel, flee. Sure. You guys also get out of here. Actually, matter that whole heckin' lot in that regard. It's like, well, we would lose this money or half of it, but we're not spending it. So, unless there was an area that we could buy mirrors, then I would absolutely buy them. But I don't recall there being a spot that we actually bought mirrors, unless.
No. Only barriers. Okay. Tempting. But no. Because we have, a. Uh... Carrie has the ability to just be like, I'm going to give everyone protection against what uh, Barrier will protect against. And that's what we'll be utilizing. Alright, Danny, use Repel. Just because. You know, let's just save the HP. I said save the HP. Alright. <laughs> Lord Harmongrease's power brought me to this world. Take this! Hi, got him. I like you. But you're trying to kill me, so no. Fear on everyone. Belt sword. Bio got a blue fire. That should now agreed. Uh, now everyone should take less damage from uh, him blowing fire. I don't recall if he uh, casts regular magic as well, but just in case, you're up. Level three, Dame is dead. Everyone else hurt a hell of a lot. Hey, nothing happened, imagine that. Did not kill. Good. They created both. Okay, very little damage thanks to putting up the uh, big barrier. Or just very little damage in general, I don't know. Either way, a good turn. Sharp hit. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm just trying to sit here, figure out, like, is there a way I can do this without using regain? Almost? I mean, it's not like we, you know, you look at our HP, and it's like our HP is not that bad at all. But he was doing triple digit damage when he cast Bolt 3, and I have no guarantee he's not going to cast Bolt 3. So we kind of have to assume the worst. Bolt level 2. Not the worst, but still not good. Take a gamble for damage. Alright, we're on fire, not too bad at all. Survive if he does if he do it again. first. Kind of hoping he wouldn't. And that broken moon is broken. We had a pretty good run with that one. I'm being an issue, which fan. Oh. Plum heals everyone. Guess we're gonna find out. Oh, 
Okay, that is a full heal on everyone. Good to know. Still not dead. Good choice, got him. Let's go for a big damage turn. Yes! Eliminated by Ogatum. Damn, you reached level 30. Hehehehe, <laughs> yay. Yeah. Cassiel reached level 29. Learn Storm level 3. Carry reached level 30. Learn Bolt level 3. Just in time. This means we are able to cast the most powerful of the uh, where cut? of the uh, b -b 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 the combined magic all that's left is what I'm going to assume is a final section and not just a uh, a final boss it would be kind of nice if it was just a final boss, but I imagine there's still an entire final dungeon to do. That was just probably the preamble. Little girl! I liked that plum juice you gave me. Can I have another? Yes. Here it is. Thank you. Yeah, you'll give me just one because you're rude. I'm trying to save the world, and you are bogarting the plum juice. Do you see why this is a problem, little girl? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. Super Plum. Moon Drop. Broken Moon. Broken Moon. Alright. Hello, yes. Take the antidote. Take the calm herb. Take the antidote. Take the anti stump. Take the anti stump. Take the anti stump. Take the bolt cane because the fire sword is still technically stronger. Yeah, 
I'll take the fire sword as well. And the rat tail. And the rat tail. And the telepo. And the rat tail. Give the soup plum, or the sup plum, really. The moon drop, the broken moon, the broken moon. No, I don't want that antidote back. You know what antidote? This is what you get. Yes. Antidote has been trashed. That'll learn it. And now we save the game, heal up. And see what we gotta get going on. Oh, welcome home, guys. You must be exhausted. Do you want to record? Yes, please. You're still going on with your adventure? Okay, stick to it. Alrighty. Hopefully it's not going to be too annoying. Hopefully we don't need the Kustera again, but if we do, I guess we'll bring him in. Travel. Ooh. A pit. Big long way around the pit. I'd laugh if it just ended in a dead end. King Bull? That is not a bull! He's dead now. Ow. Won the battle. Got 73. Experience the money. We got stuff. Repel's effect wore off. Time to put it back on. Two guardians. Hi. You're funny looking. It does me a bit of a concern. Oh. Oh, slowing us all down, huh? That one's dead. As is that one. Seem to be weak to lightning. I wonder why. Totally isn't because it looks like a robot or something. Yeah. Two King Bull. <laughs> okay. Died. Okay. Burning some more. There we go. Worthwhile experience, honestly. Mm. I appreciate his two sets of, sets of pecs. Heck yeah. Sharp hit. Ah, 
I appreciate that these guardians have only like one little spinal leg. Marge, level 31. Finally, all that walking has paid off. Found plum water. Got got plum water. It makes sense I can't just leave. Hi, what the hell is plum water? Hi. What the hell is plum water? Regain HP for everyone. Okay. Um. Yeah, full go. Yay! Where's my spaceship? Oh. <laughs> no, that would have been funnier, though. Tell me my spaceship doesn't follow me. Oh god, where did my spaceship go? Right, it's, it's on the island. And I can work to Old Hill, but the spaceship wasn't there. That... The belated recognition in my brain was like, oh, well, actually, it's probably yeah, just still right here. So we just head, head back here. There we go. Which, thinking about it, I guess makes sense. I just feel like I thought I remembered the spaceship uh, warping with us before, but I guess not. It's fine. We'll just, uh, you know, travel the old-fashioned way. By spaceship. The little bit we need to go to get back into the dungeon. Dragons. Not sure why there's three of you. <laughs> yes, but they've multiplied. Three. Really? 
There we go, now they're all gone. Hi, white, and I'm sorry, what? To Zeratin. They look, uh, even more like poop. And that guy looks like uh, he can cast Banish. You know what we could do? Next fight. Ow. Ow. Cast level 3 Vanish on us. That is BS for an enemy to be able to cast that. I said what I said, so we'll do it right here, right now. Demi, Mara, Cassiel, Carry, all of you combine your power. Devastate. Goodness. The only downside is it costs 15 MP per person, and not everyone has a lot of MP. Described in the book as. Well, for one thing, it calls it just state. So I was really curious what it was going to look like, and calling it devastate makes more sense. But, uh. The effect shows to wipe enemies out with nuclear power. Nuclear power. Nuclear. Okay, every two steps, sure. Ah, lace. No. What could lace be a mistaken name for? Ah, an Iron Man and some Guardians. Lich would be the obvious answer, but I don't see in any way how lace could come from Lich. Wraith. Welcome in, Zanto. That would make sense, actually. Yes. True. That would make sense. I like the, yeah, 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 that would make sense. Oh no, you've sped up a guardian. And they're making bolts. I'd be devastated. Oh yeah. Shuffle our way a little bit further forward. We can make it. Or not. Ah, uh, no thank you. I did. He deserved it. Hanging out with all these Zeratins. Uh, 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 
Battle over. Okay. No. I don't know how. I don't care how many times you show up. The answer will be no. Hi, servants. You are new. Mara could use some healing. That's good, Danny. Noted. Smack. Slash. Oh. There we go. There you go, Danny. You're feeling good now. Treasure, though. We find. Found mirror. Got mirror. Very good. Very important. Probably. If Haman Cruz uses magic, then yes, very important. No. Hi, Pilder. You're vaguely intimidating. <laughs> Goodbye, Pilder. Or not. Goodbye, Pilder. Yeah, somebody could drop something that'd be cool, because you guys probably have cool stuff inside you. <laughs> no. I maintain no. Oh god. All the pain. All the pain more. Damien's been knocked out. Didn't work on anyone else. Please leave. Well, I found the worst encounter option. <laughs> Absolutely. It was it, the, the most control. That's so expensive. I mean, everyone could use healing, so using this... Okay, so 36 compared to using heal 3 five times. 35. No, 40. I'm bad at math. 40. So technically cheaper to use uh, the other one, but we can split this among multiple people. Or I can shrug and save a ton of m uh, moon drops and broken moons. No treasure. Oh, that's concerning. You know what? It's just as a treat. Although then, as I do that and I'm immediately like, well, how close are we to a level up? Not very. Not at all. Eh, kinda. Not very. And almost. Just out of curiosity. Nope. Ooh, red dragons. Not that one, though. Mm, 
400 damage. Fire! Not dead, though. Destroyed. Destroyed. Danny reached level 29. If I want to sit here and, you know, level them up one more time, you know, grind out to uh, 22 heckin' thousand HP. Um, that's big number math, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, 2, 2, 6, 8, 9, divided by roughly 600 per fight. 38 battles. I think we're good. I mean, probably not actually good, but we're as good as we're going to attempt to be. Please let me heal up before you actually make me do anything. Okay, good. Okay, everyone is fully healed. That's the broken moon we've used. I give that beef bar. I don't wanna. I think it's the one. Recover. 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 Wrong person. Recover. The broken moon has broken! Recover. 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 Oh, absolutely. Recover. 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 Okay. Mildly surprised that Carrie has the lowest MP of everyone now that I look at it. But okay. You finally made it here. That's true, she is a punk. Sorry, it's actually me, Jaguar. And Tom and Cruz. Hee hee hee. Uh, welcome, Aquitalians. Your powers cannot harm me. I don't know who's talking. Let's just assume it's me, Jaguar. Jaguar! You were the first to read our guests. I don't know why I'm talking to myself, Tom. What's wrong, Jaguar? Why don't you fight? <laughs> You're foolish. I knew you would betray me. Jaguar. No. A bosun. What? I already knew that you were a spy sent from the future. Oh my gosh, he was bosun. Humming Cruz. Look at my face. You should recognize his face. You. You! Harmon Cruz? It was I who helped you when you came to the future. I have taught you all the science of the future. However, you betrayed the future and wanted to rule with darkness. I knew it was all my fault. So I have, so I have come from the future to destroy you myself. It's a massive twist. I, I would not have expected Boson of all people. Humming Cruz, you shall fall before me. <laughs> Fool! Don't you remember? I don't remember you! <laughs> now feel my wrath! You're a fool, because I don't remember you. Oh no! Why didn't you spin, Bosun? Look, Humming Cruz. <laughs> now it is time for you, children. Come, Aquitalians. Oh no. 
that's kind of cool. For all the incredibly amount of richly developed characters in this game, I can't believe it was Bosun. And now he's dead. Indeed. Dead forever. Totally. Anyway, you are clearly screaming at us perpetually. Um. Do the thing. Uh, do that thing. Do that thing. Do that thing. Um, um, um. <laughs> I want to do here. I guess a tentative regain. Cannot be hurt by magic, and uh, I am doing zero. He is dodging all my hits. Let's take a gamble. I did a sharp hit for two. Another sharp hit for two. No, don't. Why are you casting life, Dean? You know, especially life two, you know that's not good. Oh, it worked. Lost the battle. No. Who, who, who is saying no? Is it me? Is it Bosun? Is it Haman Cruz? I'm gonna. I'm going to guess Haman Cruz. Clearly, I just won the fight. No. No. This. It could be the chair. Ah, it's Bosun. This. This is just an illusion of Haman Cruz. Dany. The Middle Sword. Without the Middle Sword, you cannot beat Haman Cruz. Go to the Red Fountain in this with this. Got Oct Stone. Where's the Red Fountain? I won't let you do it. Okay. Is this the red fountain? I mean, it could be a fountain. It, 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 it could be a fountain. It could, it could be lava fountain. Lava's red. So it might be a tomato fountain. Mm. Mm. Any idea, dynamite? Ooh, what a terrific town! Did you know that the town's inside the UFO? Even I can't imagine that. <laughs> okay, you're not helpful. I did not know. I mean, we had like one one area, one area that I uh, I had to do it. I had to Dundee do a guide. Not as long as uh, it took me to not figure out how to uh, sleep in a bed in uh, in Decadus to find uh, Carrie.
Cause yeah, no, I. Oh uh, yeah, I, I think it didn't take him very long at all. Like I went and talked to him. I wandered around for a little while at like 15 minute stops. Oh, uh, the dynamite cellar was also quicker. Yeah, that yeah. Figuring, learning that I had to sleep in that one bed is the only thing I, that I can recall that I had to use a guide on. There might have been another thing that I'm not remembering, but uh, it, it just took an amount of time the other times. It was like, okay, I wandered around all of town, talked to everyone. Oh, in this little area right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it definitely did not take us two weeks. It was in the one session. This is perfectly reasonable, yeah. I am not a kid, and, uh... I mean, in, in, a, in, in a small sense, I got a little bit lucky as well, because, I mean, English also is my first language. Uh... Oh. Yeah, that, that would absolutely feel right. That would absolutely feel, feel very, very painful. But yeah, for, for me... It was a little bit of luck, because when we came back here to talk to the guy again, I suddenly noticed this area here. I'm like, oh, that's the same construction patch that they used in uh, in the old hill town. So I went there, and I talked to it, and it did the thing. That's how committed you were to finding out the secret of the stars. I mean, yeah. Good. It's been a, a heck of an enjoyable time. As I sit here and still ponder, we, as far as I can recall, I have not run into a red fountain at all, with exception of maybe going all the way back down to the bottom of that, uh, that dun the final dungeon. Ah. I really don't want to wander all the way to the bottom of that final dungeon again, just to find out that's not the answer. That's true, that would create a red fountain. Place. Is the red fountain at my house? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Are you red? If I say I have trouble with colors, will you become red? Ah, they're probably talking about Capu's house. No. No Capu. Dang. does not have a red fountain. Giant does not have a red fountain. Decadus didn't have a red fountain. Bonsley did not have a red fountain. Boxdown did not. Sleepers did not. Catapone had nothing. Kodo does not. Braska does not. Braska is just gray now. Morais did not have just had a weird Moai statue area. I don't know, I don't know, Donto no. Alazine no. Well, oh wait, no, we need to. We. Can I go into the volcano with this? Of course not. Let's see. I think I did already just save, but we're gonna go save again because my brain is dumb. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. Child, do you know where a red fountain is? Yikes! How wonderful to see the town float! 
you're a fool. <laughs> All the adventures. Okay, that is a good adventure. A floating town. We are making something unbelievable. You didn't make anything. I do appreciate your name is Bun still, though. Maybe we need to crush all of our Kustera into a singularity. Are you still crying? Ah, I'm scared. You're always gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. By the way, do you want to record your adventure? Yes! Because I'm probably going to do something that I'm going to regret. I almost said no. No! no. Uncle Save! No. Never talk to me twice in a row. I'm a child, therefore I can make ridiculous demands and people will just shake their head. Uh, I doubt any of these children are helpful. We'll talk to this one girl. Are you helpful? I'm afraid of heights. Let's not fly too high. She is not helpful. All right, I'm gonna do something. I'm going to regret. Wait. Wait. I can't reach those. I can't reach those red things. <laughs> There's. A, are you a red fountain? No. Are you a red fountain? Explain boots to me. Nothing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do then is the regretful thing. Explain this bread. I wish they'd explain the bread better, honestly. Because I've had bread fully heal me. Like, it. it it was <laughs> the freshest. It was nice to have it happen, but it uh, it also mildly infuriated me that uh, may heal some or all of your HP was literal. Okay, so the th the regretful thing we're going to attempt is to see if the red fountain's at the bottom of this. That's true. I don't know why I would have questioned them. I'm a fool, clearly. And I'm not fighting any of you. Granted, I should. Because, uh... Also possible. I mean, Carrie's hair, you know, is red, and it flows as though it's from a fountain. Maybe I just need to bonk her in the head with the, uh, the thing I got. Hi, Lace, go away. Sure do love how this repel is helping me a ton. It's probably still helping me more than I realize. Exactly. Smash her head with the ox stone. It'll either work, because her hair, you know, her hair counts, or the blood fountain will start, and there we go, red fountain. Guys, no. I'm just trying to hurry to the bottom so I can be proven wrong. And be sad. Because I fully expect, like... Uh, Harmon Cruz would be like, why are you back? You're not supposed to be here yet. I was taking a bath. Hi, Pilder. No. I was standing there like, you know, you're a single enemy. I could just beat you in one turn. Kid, did you just not just hit the death? Kid, did you not hear the dude I just killed? I don't know how it could have been cl any clearer. Go to the Red Fountain. D 
do you need me to bring him back to life like I did my followers? Just so you can listen to his message again. Hi, Lord. There are two of you. No. Don't know what nobility's doing down here, but sure. Ah, the Archbulls. No. No! To the Red Fountain! It is red. Quick, use, use the Act Stone. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that's that's honestly part of why I thought this may have been it. Hi, Hamon Cruz, showing up as a random encounter. I came up here, it was pure curi- can I run? It, it was the pure curiosity of, uh... What would happen if I approached the chair again? Now I know you're gonna use a snowstorm. That'll eventually kill me. Ah oh, no! 20,000 gold, lost for no reason. Ah, 30,000. Okay, so... Red Fountain. You know what I've never actually done? Have I, have I flown to the sides? No. I haven't, but nothing there anyway. Up we go. Okay. Red Fountain. Red Fountain. Hi, hi, Don. Do you got a red fountain in here? You got a gold dog. Now there's no fountain in the laboratory. I think so. I don't think that place had a red fountain. I mean, I imagine with a name like, you know, Go to the Red Fountain, that would be like a specific new place. <laughs> I have a feeling I won't, but uh, maybe I'll get lucky. I have that weird savantness occasionally. Decadus has like half of everything, but I don't remember a fountain. Side on Forest did not have a fountain. Does Brisbane have a red fountain? I don't think so. But let's check. Uh, there's a Northern Island area. That is more eyes.
I mean, it was just the thought of like, well, you know, a lot of things were happening here. I wasn't really expecting it. I, I don't remember, there's not a red thing in any of these places. Unless I just overlooked it entirely. Out of pure curiosity, though, we're going to go over just a little bit. So what time do we try to go here? No, oh, we actually get we we can actually go into the dungeon then. <laughs> Fair enough. Enjoy yogurt, as I. as I seriously have no heckin' clue. Outside of just going inside every place and checking on the off chance that there was a fountain. How dare you? That's the thing. Is like I realize it could it could indeed it would make the most sense. Well, this place has fountains. It would make the most sense to be a place I've never been. But we've been all over the map. There's a second map, but half that second map was destroyed. I just want to go back to the circus, honestly. I felt like I was something when I went to the circus. Exactly. Hi. Oh, he's just... Oh, he's one of the dicks. Okay. I thought he was going to still be here crying that he can't, uh... Build a uh, a thing. Uh, he, has to, uh, he doesn't have a job. Hi. Thank you so much for helping Cassie out. That doesn't help me. Red fountain. I mean, it would also help if I felt like. There was a possibility of an NPC who would actually give me a hint. Hi, right, do you know anything about a red fountain? Fair enough. Is there a red fountain in my town? I mean, we, we hadn't... After we took off, we have not tried to see what happens when we go to the passage. Oh, jeez. Impossible. Plum Plum couldn't grow in a high place. Ganta, do you know? You're the one who wants to build a good weapon. If a red fountain is just a friggin' forge... I understand Demi's dad to make making unbelievable things. By the way, how do you like the weapon? Will you buy it? You don't have a weapon. He wandered off while I was trying to give him the stone. Fine, you dick. Okay, so what happened if we go to Passage? It is impossible to get out of here. Fair enough.
Are you kids a red fountain? Great powers. Hey you, great powers will let you hear my great number today. Here comes the next tune. Let's go. This is the dance hall. Why don't you dance? The lady is pretty red. Look at this dance Murai's told me. How do you like it? Hey, hey, Sai. Just look at this splendid step. I can't stop spinning! He's kind of floating, who is she? My father came from the sky. She's an angel. Hospital. Please, out of the way, nurse. Okay. Now I can rest easy since the doctor's with us. How nice. That doesn't help me. Uh, maybe uh, maybe you're gonna have you know special unique weird information. But I guess since the doctor is technically optional, this house is empty. That's friggin' Uncle Save again. Red fountain. A spell that brings the dead back to life, but I'm glad we have this doctor. <laughs> I'm going to go back and show you that they won't, because the nurse is just going to be like, Oh wow, this place is flying, cool, would you like to buy stuff? And the doctor is going to be like, I can, you can spend money to cure poison or illness, none of you are sick. What a wonderful town to be floating in the sky. By the way, do you want to buy something? I've got special kinds of medicine, like a red fountain. This is a clinic to rid poison, five gold, rid illness, eight gold. There's nobody injured. <laughs> Schrodinger's plot, uh, plot flag. Oh, Dante's right here. I was going to check there. I didn't because I got distracted by another place or something. Welcome to Danta, or Danta, or whatever. Maybe the guy who... who yelled at me. No, he's dead. Good. There was a guy back there in that, uh... on the other side of the, uh, the, 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 the water place there. And when I went over there and talked to him, he's like, you yeah, know, it's, it's... it was like some Metacom would be like, you know, people who expect there, you know, to go all this way, to expect there to be some kind of, like, information or something, uh, are kind of like an asshole. Obviously, that was not the actual words, but the sentiment was basically, you suck because you came all this way. Why does a young girl like me have to work so hard? He's already dead. Life is unfair, huh? Only because you won't tell me about a red fountain. Is it a metaphor for growing up? Do we have to shed our childish ways and become men? <laughs> Seriously. All these people are dead. Are you at least a crying dog? Nope. 
I like the crying dogs. Because they're adorable and they go, Wah! Wah! All gone? Where have they gone? They're dead. <laughs> uh, pretty much because they all went into here, which is not a red fountain, but a secret factory. Oh. It was a secret factory in Decadus. So they all went to work there, and then it exploded. And then the people who survived took over my town. And then we scrummed them. So now we're back in Decadus. It's, I mean, yeah, Boson was very clear when he said, go to the Red Fountain. I'm the fool for not being able to remember where the Red Fountain is. How dare you! Man, it's a Val Eagle, even. I mean, I got a, that weird red gem on top of my UFO. Is that a fountain? Is mayonnaise a red fountain? <sighs> Alpen Cave, no red fountain there. No red fountain in Bonsley. This is Bonsley. I know. Where's your red fountain? Are you a crying dog? Ah, ah. Thank you. Thank you for being a crying dog. Ah, is it like... I would hate it even more. I would, I would be furious if it's a situation like with Ganta where the answer was that... Which, in fairness, was another thing I did look up. How to get Ganta because I didn't understand. It didn't make sense. And the answer was, not this building, but you know, the church was a building like this. You basically had to go like right here and hit down. <laughs> also true. Dad says we can't have a snowball fight because there's no red fountain. I want to have one, so do something about it. Anything resembling a red fountain in any of the dungeons, either. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just a back path. There's no red fountain there. That's Sidon Forest. No red fountain there, unless you count the dead Sidon I left. this one. I know it's not going to have a red fountain, but I, I don't. don't remember which fountain this is. Ah, giant. Right. Is... Does Golan's house have a secret red fountain? I already know the answer is no. Home of the famous old man, yeah. Maybe also home of the red fountain? <laughs> uh, there's no red fountain in here either. Now, what does the old man say now that Golan's dead? If I could just once taste, if I could just once taste that plum plum that bears grew. 
That has isn't a red fountain, though. People constantly say that Golan's house hides something. It doesn't. I looked it up. Even though it's probably a red fountain. Uh, most likely, yeah. Even though he didn't, I don't think he said that before going in there, but I, I have no clue if he did or not. I assume I talked to him, but like I can remember what any NPC says. That's just Bonsley again. Did Lagoon have a red fountain? Red fountain? Wait. Wait! Wait! That's a red fountain. I have a tiny shirt. I might have an actual idea. Able to get to it from here, though. The area exploded, actually, so we're not gonna be able to get to it from anywhere. Can we enter the well still? Not red. Red Fountain. However, this isn't the actual purpose of going here. Well, it's basically inverse fountains. Yeah? Regular water. We're not quite done yet. See, we're blocked off there. However... I thought there was a... It's just straight to the house. Damn it. No, it's just a past dungeon. I thought we I, I thought I remember being able to move around like like that you actually had like a house area out with, surrounded by a red red liquid still. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking of then. Not something in the game. Just something. Yeah, great, we good. Maybe we can can we warp inside here? This isn't a red fountain. Okay, I guess we gotta go the, the slow way. <laughs> There's no red fountain at the end of the game. <laughs> they never wanted anyone to learn the secret of the stars, so they just didn't finish it. But yeah, no, this is just technically more lava, because if I move around without using step, It'll just hurt. Can I flee now? I can flee now. map plenty. Hmm. 
I highly doubt he will, but maybe the good doctor has some level of information. <sighs> maybe if you'd tell me where the red fountain is. <laughs> yes, but he might have gotten that red jacket by dipping it into the red fountain. Maybe it was a white jacket beforehand. Anyway, this didn't help us get anywhere or do anything. How the hell did I get up here with a with the the, the flying saucer before? Zero NPCs, we even tell you where it might be. Exactly, yeah, it's just it's all all their usual fluff. Where did I Where did I work from? Uh Nebraska. Why didn't you come with me, airship? Is there, a is there a red fountain in Carapone suddenly? Here's your chance to, to, to buy property. Carapone doesn't have a red fountain. Carapone has nothing. Go away, Uncle Save. Uh, that's just an empty warehouse building. There weren't any of those Aquitalian training areas, right, where you fought the elementals? I don't believe so, but also I'm pretty sure we can't actually go into those anymore. We will make an attempt, just because I, I, I'm, I'm grasping now. I, I got nothing. Oh, there's gotta be one around here somewhere. Probably further south, actually. There we go. I believe this one was uh, Cassiel's. I mean, I have considered that as well. But yeah, we. Men who inherit the power of the stars, bring back peace to the land of your clues and power. There's a red mountain. There's a red mountain now. Frick. And I did consider the first dungeon as well, but I don't remember there being a fountain there either. It ended in a dead end. Fuck, that's the red fountain! Yeah! Yeah! I suddenly remember we go to the dead end, and then we go behind the dead end, and I'm like, oh wow, a blood pool. Not concerning at all. The goddamn red fountain. Here's the dead end. Then we go beyond the dead end, to the blood pool! That's a fountain of Actos!
finally, after an entire game, <laughs> exactly, after an entire game, we finally have a sword made of metal. Gavin Middlesword. Hi. Davy, my son. You've been hanging out in the Red Fountain this entire time and you couldn't even call? <laughs> it would be really funny. <laughs> Hummin Cruise is shrouded by a false appearance. Break it by this orb. Got the torb. Th th thanks for... Thanks for disappearing, Father. Now we have a middle sword and a little orb. Carrie, do you want to equip the middle sword? You can't. You can equip the bolt sword, though. I'm not going to. Cassia, would you like to equip the middle sword? You can't. Danny! Finally you can equip... Uh, not the middle sword, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know that for certain. Maybe, maybe Mara can... No. Fine. The middle sword. Power up. Power! Wait, I mean, it is a huge jump in power. Wait, what, did, what else just... Did my luck also just go up? Yes, my luck went up by seven. Only main character man can equip metal swords. Yep. Well, Cassio, on the bright side, you can at least instead equip the ice sword. It's much weaker than your great axe, but that's okay, because you speed up a good bit. And uh, it just means you can do the thing that uh, Damien was doing with uh, Mara. Thank you for the heal. <sighs> That's true, yeah. That's absolutely true. She's got the best claw, so... Fuck the Metal Sword. But this does mean it is time to return here. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm sure Andy can take him down. I wanted to save. Not that it makes a big, any real difference, but I wanted to save. And then consume a bunch of MP. Uh, re re repelling our way down to Haman Cruise. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He at least can actually hit things now. Like, he is as strong as full bin. And uh, still does, you know, far and away so much more damage than the rest of the party. Because, uh,. You know, Bunny Girl is, uh, just weak as all crap. Uh, considering the best weapon she can equip is a broken sword. Maybe she can equip the Bist Claw? Probably not. Yay, third time through the dungeon. She is a bunny, I mean, that's why she gets a pass. Oh, uh, and then Beth is, uh is Beth, but she, her stats are not very good in terms of hitting things, because she's a doctor. Hi, who are you and why am I ignoring you? I believe I'm ignoring you because no. Then I'm going to weep when we use the lit orb, the lit orb, and a Haman Cruz still absolutely wrecks us. Three iron men? No, thank you. Mainly I'm trying to preserve what broken moons I have. Haha, <laughs> no. That's true.
Again, no. I'd say I can't believe the final dungeon has enemies that can actually cast death on your entire party. But I have played Persona 3. So I can believe it. It's great to see y'all, y'all. You're not faster than children, so... Oh no, it wore off on the ladder. If only we could cast it again. On the ladder. No. That would probably be one of the easier fights to yeah, handle, but no. No! <laughs> Uh, who doesn't want to be a piloter? No. No! I realize I am stubbornly saying no to everyone that might, you know, make you think I'm one of you. Bullheaded and all that, but no. No! You guys are dicks. I'm just gonna sit here and not heal until we get down there and then regret everything as something else ca kills everyone in one, in one sweep when we fail to run. I will say I do appreciate that despite the fact that sometimes, you know, we get into a bad state of not being able to run, by and... Repels effect wore off, oh no. By and large, uh, you know, you can run, like, running is really easy in this game, and I really appreciate that. Because it's just the worst when a game is like, I'm not going to let you run at all. Okay, Mara... Right, if you're going to cast that five times, it's cheaper to use Danny's thing. Eh. Dudes are usually very quick, this is true. And yeah, it's surprising considering how to handle status ailments, also true. But yeah, it's just, it's... It does, it does good things, and also very confusing weird things. Okay, fully healed up. We have a broken moon that is not broken. We have a moon drop, or moon drop. We've got some restorers. Three moon drops, four moon drops. A soup plum, a sup plum, a vita plum. Two restore twos, two restores. A mirror, which is going to be very useful to cast. Uh, some more broken moons. Another mirror. Oh, hell yeah. Um. I think we're in a pretty good position to do things. Okay. And we save the game, and if I die, I will reload. Because we'll be in the same place regardless. But we'll have our mirrors and things back. Let's do it. Unfortunately, for this first turn, I feel like there's not much I can do outside of, uh, use the orb. But just in case, it'll build up anyway, because maybe it'll, it'll either end the fight or something. Um... <laughs> Dragon Quest 3 is on the copy home and cruise. <laughs> 
Um, it's the mirrors I'm most concerned about, because that's considerable, so we'll not mirror this turn. We'll wait and see just in case what happened, if anything. Not dating. Okay, we are now mitigating some of the damage from his snowstorm. Exactly, that's why I don't want to use my, uh... That's why I don't want to use my, my items. Golan all along. Reflect! Well, we can hurt him now. Ow! Okay, um... Metal sword? Meepow. Uh, mirror on Danny. Mirror on Mara. Probably was on Danny, but that's fine. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that mirror on. That mirror on Danny. Carry, mirror on yourself. Danny. Please heal everyone. Sharp hit. He is blown fire. We have we've mitigated that damage. Cool, 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 cool. Curiosity, though. I mean, you have it equipped, so you can't really do anything about that. But, uh... If we equip that, can we use the Middle Sword? We... We can. But it does something to us. Is my curiosity that strong? Claw's not doing much now. No, oh, they just cast heal too. Okay, so now we have two items I can cast heal too. Oh. Okay, um, Danny put the metal sword back on though, because he does a sharp hit against Haman Cruz. If I cast Devastate, that would be about 300 damage. A little over 300 damage, probably. So the cost of 15 MP per person. I didn't really see, but we'll do a little under two. We'll do like 175 or something when we use Ice Sword. Plus 90. Do I still have my calculator open? I do. Cool. So the vagueness of 175 plus 90. It's 265. Plus, if we use Bolt, it'll probably do about 60 damage. 325. Devastate might be worth it. Oh, there were, well, that's 
not enough damage above and beyond what we are probably going to be doing to uh, warrant consuming that much MP. Dead. You can feed the Broken Moon to Danny, so Danny can continue to do our uh, regain plan. Under damage. 148. That's uh, less damage than I was expecting. I was uh, anticipated, but still. Everyone is healed up. Ah, smack. Freeze. Smack. Broken Moon. The weak regain. Blue fire again. I did a good choice. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. The moon will fix itself in time. We're just making use of it for now. Broken moon. Fulfill another curiosity. What happens if we try to use the light orb a second time? Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Get blown more fire. He'll restart the fight. <laughs> I wouldn't put past this game, honestly. Especially if this were on the NES. If it were still an NES game, I would not at all expect it to be that... I would not at all put it past the game to be that badly coded. Attack. Freeze. Attack. Continue to squeeze the moon into Danny. Well, no, it's... It, it's a credit to the game itself, or it not... I mean, it, it is a little bit of a slight to it, I guess. <laughs> it is rather competently programmed, as it is. Oh, um, but yeah. He punched someone, but we didn't see who he punched. Ah, Carrie, okay. He keeps punching her. It's kind of rude to punch her. Exactly. I'm shocked I didn't run into it, if so. Yeah, offhand, I don't know of any actual bugs myself. I don't think I ran into anything that was specifically buggy. Right. Same fight we've been doing. Fool. 
Well, hopefully, unless, yeah, we seem to have a pretty strong handle on this, so unless he suddenly changes things up on us, uh... It's just a matter of time, I feel like. He really, really likes to beat her up. level, because why spend the uh, MP when we don't seem to need to? Like, when he uses Bomb 3 again? Sure. There it is. Man, just think if I had actually kept enough mirrors for everyone. Good dodge, Carrie. <laughs> Eliminated Humming Cruise, possibly, unless it's a second boss fight. No experience. That implies possibly not. Air strike sound is not good, though. Light Orb. I was defeated by the last Arcutalians because of it. But I'm not afraid of it any longer. I get new power owing to Rimstera. This time, a final battle! Oh dear. I probably should have guessed based on the fact that he, uh... ...didn't have unique boss music. Now I don't have moons. Or not moons, mirrors. That's, that's a problem. Well, Metal Sword. Oh, it has an amazing OST, yeah. Freeze. Punch. Uh, mirror for everyone. I hope you blow fire a lot. Still get the sharp hits on him for the metal sword. <laughs> Create bolt is the same basic thing, so that's good. on yourself. I wish I could give a mirror to anyone else, but I'll just have to do the one mirror. That's, I'll just have to settle for that and it'll be fine. It'll be great. It'll be awesome.
Okay, Carrie, we're gonna do another bit of uh, hope. I'm probably not gonna do anything, but just in case. Yeah, you still have two of those in you, that's good. That's fine, you create that bolt. Fair enough. It's fine. Carrie, moon drop for Danny. Create the bolts. I also really appreciate that Carrie waited until after Danny's turn. That way he got the most use of his uh, MP and everything. So, attack. Freeze. Attack. Bolt sword. Okay, just punch Danny, that's fine. So pull out the calculator for when that's going to matter. Really, as long as he has more than 36. 59 divided by 18. Okay, you can use it three more times. So two more times and another moon drop. Honestly, it's fine if you want to just keep punching Damien like that. I can't really tell what the hell he's supposed to be. 
by the way. Like, I mean, I can I can vaguely see, you know, head, you know, wings, smaller wings, but, like, he, it looks like around the area where his hips would be, he has two mouths with tongues sticking out. And I guess I'm just kind of like, huh, so that's what an artificial man looks like, huh? Oh, no, 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 don't be a dumb brain. Moon drop for Danny. He's made of love. Ah, Dr. Uh, Pyrocles really did love him, though. That's true. No, don't use moon drop first. Created the whole... <laughs> oh, I'm glad we threw away that money trying to fight him a second time pointlessly. Scientologists won't like that. They're less valuable now. Freeze level one. Punch him. Blood sword. I'm afraid to say this out loud, but I have taken note of the fact that he has not cast Bomb since this version of the fight started. So I think we are, as long as we can keep up this pattern long enough, I think we are more or less in the clear. Because that, that and or Bolt 3 were, you know, the, the most concerning things enemies were casting. I mean, frankly, I probably don't even need... Oh, don't dodge. I probably don't even need to, you know, heal up as frequently as I am. I'm just terrified of things like that happening. Or the time when he's suddenly like, Actually, yes, I think I will cast Bomb. We have all these moon drops and things, so might as well use them up. Exactly, yeah. And even if they don't outlast it entirely, we have a lot of mitigation factors that we can still potentially utilize that are reusable, such as the Broken Moon. Um, uh, and the, the handheld items that can heal. Not as good as a regain, but still good. Always shrugged at crates for 25 and you understand the fear. Oh. <laughs> uh, when a crit suddenly does triple digits versus doing like, you know, 20 damage, yeah, it, it, do, it do me a concern. We also still have the plum water and the vita plum. Um, okay, so we have one moon drop there, two moon drops, two moon drops total still. Got it. If I'm being honest, I kind of want to as a treat. Uh, probably a little, probably foolish, but as a treat. And with a vague hope that maybe it will, uh, it'll be the killing blow, that'd be pretty dang cool.
Immediately punished. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, it was a good shot. Okay, we need to use a moon drop. So the best bet is actually, hey, Danny, use a moon drop on Danny, Mara. Keep up the better hit than Danny's hit can do, because Carrie, we are going to have you try to ensure that uh, Danny don't die. Okay, we are we're back in generally safe range. It was still cool to use Devastate on. Carrie was healed up. <laughs> Rude. I was wondering if there was something of that variety in this game. That's in, in any capacity. Yep. Yep, that's what's going on. In this case, basic mirror probably stronger to uh, set up first. Two times with that amount, can't I? Nope, three times still. Okay. I did math that right, right? History. Yes, 59 divided by 18. Okay. I don't want to clear my history. Just get out of here. Calculate. Exactly. Yeah, that was like, exactly. That was wise. I'm like, yeah, whatever, whatever. I don't know how much I'm absorbing through using the powerful version. Uh, or you know, level three uh, cure bolt mirror, but it seemed yeah much better. Much better to be like, hey, don't let Carrie die to bomb. But now that we're here, near level three.
All right, last of the actual moon drops. Carrie, why'd you go first? Oh, there it is. But we are in good position to survive that, because Danny did not already secure a uh, regain this turn. That was the biggest scare of it before, was that, uh... <laughs> that Danny had already used that. I'm like, oh god, what if he gets his first turn first next turn, though? <laughs> That was our last one of those, which means we need to swap you over to Broken Boating Danny. Yeah. But things like that can happen too. And it's not that much weaker than Bomb. Oh, good, Danny can die to a bomb this time. So. Carry help make certain we don't uh, get utterly effed. Yes, okay. Time for third form. Please just break apart your sprite. Please don't actually have a third form. Oh, good. I'll take the slow wipe as well. Now we just have to kill our father. The true evil behind all of this. Or possibly Bosun. I <laughs> secreted the stars. Yay, thank you. Thanks for the GG's. I would laugh so hard if it just went straight to credits. Why the heart? No, no heart sound. Eliminated Hammond Cruise, okay. <laughs> it really sa sounded for a moment like there was going to be another one. There still could be. Hi again, Hammond Cruise! Oh, darn. Akutalian. Uh, that's how I want every big bad to uh, start their <laughs> soliloquy <laughs> when they're dying. Darn. I will be reborn. I, born into darkness, hate humans. I will hate you. Sorry for... But not now. I, I need... Hate later. For now. Naps. I, I need to screen cap that one. It too good. But, okay. I'm not expecting to need more, so I won't save that quite yet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Who brought me back to life forever? Yeah, who did who did who did that? Oh hi. Hammond Cruz. 
my dearest son. Come back to me. To me. Heracles. You. I hate you too. Ugh. Wow. No, why aren't you guys spinning? You're gonna die! <laughs> I imagine he was, yeah. As a volcano erecting again? This must be the hate Hobbin Cruise was talking. Hi, Bosun. I thought you were dead. Damy. Mara. Cassiel. Gary. Danny. Thank you. Farewell. So he was Hobbin Cruise the entire time. A victory lap feels weird with a UFO. Ah, we pooped out our town. <laughs> he was just some guy who showed up. I think he might have technically been like our dad's friend at some point. Oh, but he's just a guy who showed up otherwise. It's like, hey! <laughs> the UFO shot a town, exactly. Seems like we're alive. I couldn't imagine what could have happened to us. Where's Damien and his friends? Sit, sit, stay, stay, in, inside the, the, you, you, if, you, you, f, f, fo. Maybe those guys are going back to the future. We were never, we were never in the future. What? I'm with the kid. Oh, digging it. Uh, we destroyed Hamon Cruise anyway, so. Oh, they can't taste my plum plum crops that I planted. Kid, we finally got a new home. But their real home is somewhere in another world. They were brought from the future? I. I do not remember that part. I remember Hamon Cruise coming from the future. I remember just existing. But I guess everyone's from the future. Heck, this is just a, it was a Back to the Future game all along. Licensed. Yeah, I bet everyone wants to return to his or her true home. Yes, the home that I do not know. I, I genuinely don't remember. Possibly. <laughs> they are our one and only friends. You shouldn't ask for an impossible. I guess I lied. I lied about needing to clip another one. I would do this after everything, but I know I'll forget. So I, I need to do it now. To be honest, this is the RPG with one of the most mysterious plots you ever played. I mean, kinda, yeah. A lot of it being because bad translation and uh, not really explaining anything, but... Okay, but I believe that they are coming back here again, someday. Why don't we wait until then? I haven't played through enough of Resonance of Fate to actually get to the plot. Because I, I, ha I have a lot of trouble wrapping my head around that battle system. 
I will make an attempt eventually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, I will attempt to stream it eventually, but uh, I'm not expecting good things from when, when I finally get around to that one, because I'm, I'm I'm not good. The game requires side quests, if that makes sense. As in, you have to do the side quest to start understanding the plot, or you have to do the side quest to be able to win. Don't stare at me like that. Oh. You're maybe alive again, Father. Come back, Damie. You fought enough. You are from the future. Oh, this is when they're going to explain it. Okay. No, you basically have to take a nonsense, bunch of nonsense jobs to uh, progress with the game. Okay, I bet. That's understandable. I do remember that much, at least, to start with. Because that's kind of what your overall occupation is. is Basically mercenary, but not called a mercenary. The, uh, you know, the, 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 the typical uh, classic Japanese protagonist who is a, who is just a handyman, almost, will take any job and do everything. Exactly. Freelance, whatever. You are from the future. You will soon greet the future. <laughs> okay. Come here, Damie. Damie. I'm sorry, the rest of you children, your, your parents are still dead. I'm here, but everyone else is... You're all... You're dead. Oh! Is it Tom and Cruz? Everybody? I'm back. F fuck you, Dad! <laughs> you're not my mom! <laughs> Welcome home, and welcome to Toonship. I think we did, yeah. We said, fuck you and your future. This is our home. This town we built and lost and got back and lost and got back again and almost lost, but it was actually in our UFO. Oh, there's the UFO, though. <laughs> I'm a landlord now, Dad. <laughs> I will actively work to harm the future. Oh, great. Okay, well, there we go. Secret of the Stars. I loved that. Oh, that, that game grew on me so amazingly fast. It is a wonderful, wild, weird trip. Amazing music, you know, the, in a gameplay that I didn't have to think, you know, too hard about and everything. This is true. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's still not a good game. <laughs> oh, but it's a, a game I love. I mean, it's not a bad game either, but, like, I wouldn't sit here and be like, oh, yeah, you know, Secret of the Stars, it's a good game, you should play that. It's like, no, it is a weird, wonderful game. Y you don't need to play it. I played it. Watch my playthrough. <laughs> exactly, it's bad in a, in a good way. <laughs> the end. That was a very short credit. That was a very, very short credit sequence. I guess that would also then, ex unless it was a, <laughs> unless there was a reason for, uh, um, unless there was a reason to hide all of the the staff, that would also explain why this is as it is. If it was only being worked on by, like, ten people. Because even back at this time frame, like, I'm pretty sure m most RPGs had more than ten people on staff. But yeah, yeah, there's... <laughs> it is not the kind of game that most people would, like, you, ha you have to, you have to understand, you have to understand it to, and appreciate, to appreciate it or whatnot. Like, I can understand, I can understand someone be like, I don't like that game. It's like, okay, that's fair, but, you know, yeah, for me, this is, this, this is wonderful. I love it. I will probably never play it again, but I'm so happy that I did. 
As it is, Octavians uh, decided to stay in township and live happily ever after. Well, I've told of a rare adventure. But that's okay. I wonder what kind of adventure awaits. None. Tecmo didn't make another RPG that I know of. Where is that UFO going? Is it going to the future? Is our dad actually alive? And he's just heading back to the future now? <laughs> this one was enough, exactly. Red Fountain. <laughs> Here the stars too. Hom increases darnation. I would absolutely play it. I think this might be the actual in the screen. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, the the thing the front things that are moving are definitely repeating. Which is not a surprise at all. The back one, I think we hit... I believe they are repeating as well. My, my reason for pointing this out is like, I can't tell if it's like going to suddenly pull into another thing or this is just this until I turn it off. It's hard to tell because the music's going. But yeah. And look, I was also worried that this wasn't going to fill up the entire time frame, but that still took us four and a half hours. Not in small part because of a red fountain! <laughs> okay, there's the music over. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's that then, which is good, because I mean, it, it time. <laughs> so thank y'all very much for watching. I had an absolute blast with this, <laughs> uh, which means uh, the next time, see you day, we're going to be doing uh, something new. Oh, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. This <laughs> game is true. Yeah, true. It'll be 10 out of 10 masterpiece, even if it just had a full bin. Um, and so, yeah. So I guess I should probably uh, do the thing that I do. So yeah, yeah again, I, I ramble, so thank y'all very much for the watchy watch, watch, watch. And I will see y'all later. And I guess the reason I ramble into that fashion is like, well, if I'm going to do the, the uh, raid thing... That requires a little bit more time. Per, as I often do, we will raid into Snacko. They are playing, I believe... They're playing uh, KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. They call it Coin of Fate, so I'm assuming... I think what they are doing is... Uh, every every choice is just a flip away. I think they're just literally flipping the coin every time they have to make a choice. Which is amusing. Anyway. Good night, everyone. <laughs>